What's up everyone? How you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today, I'm going for a walk on the trails here in my town. And I just remembered that it rained all day yesterday. So, I may be turning around and going back across the street to the paved trails. Because it rained all day. <sighs> but we'll see. It is a beautiful day here in West Tennessee. I hope it's beautiful where you're at. I do have a couple of things to talk about on this little journey. First of all, let's get a few steps in. Quite some time back, I actually talked about getting some, just some budget friendly hiking shoes. Need to do that. Ooh, this is slick. Slick, slick. A little bit. Wonder if anyone else has walked the trails clearing out the spider webs. Hopefully I won't get any ticks. It's cooled off a smidgen, but not long enough to kill off the ticks, I'm sure. So I'm hoping I can get through this tick free. So, as some of you may know, I'm a school bus driver. And as a school bus driver, a teacher, a child care provider, those three professions, ooh, that's a steep little hill. There we go. We put up with a lot of kids, we see a lot of things, we hear a lot of things. And I have a, and I posted this on Facebook. We have a group here uh, called Rants and Raves. And it's something that I posted on there. And I don't know what I said word for word. But I'll just say that I have a child on the bus that I know is highly medicated. I don't know if they've diagnosed this person with 
ADHD or ADD or any of those other crazy words. But I do know she's on medic. Ah, I said she. Okay, it's a she. I do know that she is on medication. Uh, every day, got to get on to her. Turn around, sit down, get out the aisle. Quit touching people. Leave people alone. Why are you touching people? Ride her up. Ride her up, ride her up. She's actually been kicked off the bus already this year. She's been in alternative school already this year. And we're just in October. So, what I did Friday was she got on the bus in the afternoon and I said, because I already had to get onto her like a couple times before I even got out of the parking lot. I said, if you'll sit there, be quiet, be good, do nothing, keep your hands to yourself. I will give you a dollar. Now, you wouldn't think a dollar would do much in this day and age, but it did. It did do something. That girl sat there, good as gold, didn't move, didn't speak, kept eye contact with me in the mirror the whole time, and she only rides maybe 10 minutes. In the morning and afternoon if even that so the whole time good as gold gave me no problems and before she got off the bus I gave her a dollar now what that did was that let me see that what these kids most of them do not have a medical condition needing medicine and treatments of the such they have a but needing a whooping problem uh, these doctors are prescribing medications for things that aren't even a problem And that's the situation all over the United States. I can't say the world because I don't know the world. I just know the United States. We have a huge problem with this. And I am breathing a little hard. I haven't done anything in this whole entire month with my bike being down. That's another subject. But it's hard for me to walk anyway sometimes because of my back. So anyway, I posted basically this on uh, that Facebook page, on that group. And for the most part, I got positive replies. A lot of people agree that people are being medicated and over medicated for problems that don't even exist and that's the case with her as far as I'm concerned I found that out because she totally changed over a dollar So, and I know it's a, I know with some people it's a touchy subject because heaven forbid someone questions my kid or my parenting or what a doctor says or any of the above. How many times have those people been wrong? Though, that's the thing. How many times have doctors been wrong? Enough times that they've, they've actually killed people. That's how many times they've been wrong. And all parents make mistakes. We made mistakes.
these are problems that every person that's in a, an authoritative position of sorts and that deals with these children on a daily basis should be questioning and should be uh, bringing up and talking about and making public because this has been going on for a good 25 years or so everything's being Everything is being controlled or trying to be controlled through medication. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I have depression. And I did try medication uh, back in 2016, but I've since weaned myself off of that a long time ago now is my depression cured no not by a long shot however I didn't really feel like the medication was worth taking just my humble opinion and my doctor was okay with uh, with me uh, stopping the treatment, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Ooh, some slick pine needles. Love to see me fall. Anyways, what I'm getting with that is sometimes we just learn to live with things and sometimes we can deal with our problems in other ways uh, other than medication. So that's that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, what have you, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, what you think, how you feel about everything. I know back in my day, not that there weren't any cases of such things. But most things could be handled with a belt, a paddle, a switch, etc. A lot of times what's diagnosed as ADD or ADHD or any of those other things is nothing more than just a simple behavioral problem. Lack of parenting lack of effort and so on another thing that I will touch on is like I said, I haven't been riding. I haven't got one ride in in October. And that's because that new wheel that I bought back in July completely busted on me. I think it was about five spokes that popped. Uh, couldn't really do anything to get my money back. 
uh, because I I did drill out like an idiot I guess but I did drill out the valve hole to accept the standard valves now if you know the difference in the two valves you know really it's just uh, basically a shaving not a big drilling of sorts it's basically paper thin difference and uh, I don't know if that is what caused it completely it could have been I'll take responsibility for it and that's what I figure it was so I didn't try to get my money back or do anything along those lines or get a you know a replacement or anything so I went to another bike shop that's closer one that I actually bought my GT from and uh, they found me a wheel a little bit more expensive uh, it's probably twice the cost which still isn't a lot compared to what a lot of people spend but for me it's a lot because I don't make much money but uh, the wheel I can't remember the name but it but when he told me the name it was a name I, re I recognized it's more of a mountain bike wheel it's a uh, wider he said it's stronger it's going to be capable of holding heavier weights you know I'm 260 pounds easy all day long you know, a lot of cyclists are under 200 pounds and a lot of them are 160 150 so anyway I do have a new wheel that I'm going to pick up next week I had to wait until next week because my finances just didn't work out for me to get it just this past Wednesday uh, whenever I told him I'd come in and get it my finances just didn't work out so it's gonna be next Wednesday so it's gonna easily be the middle of October before I even get one ride in and it's killing me now I do have my trail bike but at the same time I'm not big on riding trails in West Tennessee they're all what you see me walking on and what you've seen I am a video of my local trail before uh, it's basically going through the woods There's not a lot of flow to it there's not a lot of fun factor uh, if I could do something that had a little bit more flow even if I had to work for an hour or two going up a hill to some degree if I could at least get a little downhill for a while and just some flow and some fun in my area uh, that would be great and I would ride more but I am because of that more of a road cyclist even though the rally redux is not your typical everyday road bike it's marketed as an urban shredder but I've taken it on many rides so it won't be long I'll at least be able to get back on my bike oh I don't know if I said the price of the wheel uh, the wheel itself and the labor to put my cassette on there and the taxes it's gonna be like hundred thirty dollars which ain't bad I mean like I said there's a lot of people out there spend five hundred dollars on one wheel of course I'm not one of those people being a school bus driver doesn't give me that kind of freedom
Well, weather sure is nice today. Wow. Beautiful out. So, with my, with my couple of stories out of the way, how are you guys doing? Everybody living large and in charge? Crazy how fast 2019 is going. This is literally how close we are to town. <laughs> There's Kroger, other shopping centers. <laughs> yeah, this uh, with my bike needing this repair it's really cut into my riding if I wanted to stay on track for getting 250 300 350 you know miles this month I would have to do some serious riding once I get that bike back I don't know if I got that in me. Good size hill here. And I do apologize for the shaky camera, but I am walking. Uh, I'm not going to ever invest in a gimbal or anything like that. However, the new GoPro does have some good stabilization built in. So, maybe if I ever upgrade my camera I can upgrade to something like that that has built-in stabilization but right now this little budget camera I bought practically nearly a couple years ago it's been doing pretty good no real complaints I'm sure it doesn't have the greatest quality in the world, but serving my purpose. Sorry, I like the look of the sun coming through trees and that. I would have taken a picture, but I didn't feel like messing with it. Speaking of taking a picture, I do have a video I'm thinking of doing to give some pointers and tips on how to compose a photograph. So many people and myself included when I'm not thinking or or if I'm not taking a very serious picture we don't think of exactly how we are composing the photograph so I'm probably gonna do a 
just a quick little video demonstrating that because I do have some pictures that people have taken for me that look horrible why because they didn't know how to compose the picture they didn't care they didn't think about it that's for another video And here we are at the end. That was a good little walk. Felt good. there you have it that's the whole trail I did in my video I just uploaded a few days back when I rode my GT same trail same everything interesting huh Now I just hope I don't have myself covered in ticks. Which, if you know, if you watch my videos, that's why I don't ride in the spring and summer on the trails. I don't want to deal with ticks. Now I have ridden plenty over the past couple years, but don't want to do it. It's not worth it. Now if we had big machined out trails or you didn't have vegetation right on top of you it'd be different but you can tell I'm just walking through the woods all right guys I'm gonna sign off I'm going across the street to the park 
Pave Park that you all know and love. There we go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, I do all this for free. No monetization, no ads that I know of. Let me know if there is any ads. And I'll take care of that if I can. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm going to probably walk around the paved trail one time and then get on home. So guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even if you got to hoof it. We'll see y'all later.